Good morning, Dr. Eric here, family back with you center. It's a Monday, we're back in the office. Hopefully everyone had a great weekend. We are here between nine and 12 and three to six. Uh, if you wanna stop in or if you wanna call ahead and make an appointment, that's fine too. Uh, we are here to help either way. Today we're gonna to talk about neck pain, when it's a good idea to come into the office. Now in some instances, um, if you're experiencing some mild, mild neck discomfort or stiffness, a lot of times that can be alleviated at home with some ice or alternating ice and heat and some light stretching. If you would like some stretches for your neck that you can do daily um, and also work around a medical condition, I can send them to you, I can email them to you. If you just give us a call or shoot me a direct message, I can help you out with that. So simple you know, stiffness or mild discomfort in the neck, maybe from working on the computer too much, driving too long, reading, uh, these things can be alleviated at home with some stretching, some exercise, some prevention work, and maybe alternating some ice and heat uh, would be very beneficial. Now, when you have more serious neck problems, uh, it's a good idea to get into the office as soon as possible. And examples would be if you wake up and you can't turn your head, uh, you have something called rye neck or torticollis. Um, or you're getting neck pain that's radiating to your head or behind your eye, causing you to have a headache or a migraine. These are instances where you should get in as soon as possible. Or you're getting neck pain that's traveling into the shoulder, down the shoulder blade, in between the shoulder blades, or down into the arm, hand, or fingers. Or if you're getting numbness or tingling in those, in those same areas or pain problems as well, it's a good idea to get in as soon as possible. The longer you wait for those types of situations, the more difficult it is to correct, the longer it's gonna take uh, to get it fixed up for you. Um, other instances that I can think of would be if you're experiencing neck pain and dizziness, um, definitely get to the office as soon as possible so we can evaluate and make sure uh, nothing serious is going on. We wanna basically rule out um, any simple you know, muscular problem or stiffness versus like a disc problem, a nerve problem, or even like a, a degenerative bone problem. Um, all these things, you know, require more of an immediate attention. So if you are experiencing those types of symptoms, please give us a call as soon as possible. Don't take it lightly. Like I said, a smaller problem can become a bigger problem faster. But if it's a simple stiffness just from maybe overusing those muscles from reading or typing, um, driving, uh, work-related stuff, a lot of times it can be alleviated with just some home care, um, like I said before, or some preventative stuff that you can do uh, you know, a few times a week or even daily to help to keep the muscles flexible and strong. Uh, hopefully this makes sense to you. If you have any questions about this topic at all, please give us a call. Neck pain is probably the second most reason people come to, uh, to my office and in fact to a chiropractor in general. Uh, number one is probably back pain, number two is neck pain. Um, sometimes we see more neck than back, but right now I would say on average more back than neck. But these are the reasons why people visit a chiropractor for relief. And we're very good at getting you out of relief uh, with those muscle skeletal conditions due to the neck or lower back issues. Uh, any other questions, shoot me a message. Um, and I hope you liked the video. Please click like, comment, share them. We greatly appreciate your support. I'm so grateful for people that do um, pay attention to what I'm doing. I do put some time and work into this and it's much appreciated that you recognize that. Uh, have a great day. Uh, it's supposed to be a hot one. Try to stay cool. And we will talk to you next time. Enjoy.